First thing first, uh, we're going to have a raffle later on. Uh, there are three baskets over there that were made by three women on our committee. And uh, everybody should have a raffle ticket that they got. And uh, the girls are going to pull the raffle tickets periodically, and somebody's going to get something they really don't need or want. But well, they're really going to really re gift. Uh, but they are beautiful. And they did a lot of work on that. And um, so uh, we'll respect that. Uh, Jimmy's in the back of the room, he's our server. Um, and uh, he tells us that the food's going to be up until 2 o'clock. And then the food's coming down. And so if you want to eat something else, you go get it until 2. About 2.30, they're going to serve uh, desserts. And so that, uh, that'll that hold us until 3 or 3.30. And uh, Nick, our bartender, is uh, serving the few people who uh, dare drive and drink. Thank you, Nick. Okay. Um, I want to say some thank yous. I want to thank... Uh, Carol Woodhull, she's the one, uh, you all sent in RSVPs if you're not a guest. Carol Woodhull is the one at the post office box who opened up the mail and counted who's coming, who's not. Carol, how are you doing? So, okay. uh, secondly, the way most of you people are found and kept together is we have a roster. Uh, it's kept by George Turk. Um, he's got the password to it, so he's in charge of it. And uh, we, uh, we know where you, most of you are, and that's how you got your invitations, and George keeps up to date with that. He also has, he's in charge of the uh, CHS 57 blog, which uh, Paul Sweeter did for a while until we lost Paul. And um, so George is taking care of the blog. He liked complaints, because the only thing people ever send in is about who's not here anymore. So if you've got something exciting that you want to send over to the blog, just email it to George and he'll post it for you. And uh, all of you who have email, we'll send you uh, an address that you can access the uh, blog and get a password, okay? Thank you, George. Um, oh, so you guys are clapping. I like that stuff. Okay. So I, I'm from Carteret. In Carteret, these, these are a few things that I, that I noticed about people from Carteret. People in Carteret do not like to be told what to do. So nobody's going to tell you to clap. But if you clap, you clap it's so hard. If you don't want to do that, and you want to like say, and you want to tell when to clap. So if somebody tells you when to clap, you can clap there. You can hit your table. You can take your spoon. You can do anything else. I got my bell. Uh, so so let's practice. Um, first of all, uh, I want to acknowledge Doug King, uh, 97 years old. Uh, And, and uh, he put up with all of us. Uh, I think of Doug King when I uh, do anything. I, I, I put a toilet in on my 78th birthday, and I flushed the toilet. The water went down. and said, "Oh, Doug King taught me that the water goes down, sinks, it's all down." Very important things I learned as a freshman. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm on your list. Um, okay. So. Um, I have a checklist, but I forgot what it was. Okay, uh, just some statistics. There's 125 or six people in the yearbook. Of that, we have 78 we know are still living. Uh, the rest are here, uh, or have uh, not replied, not sent in an RSVP, or they have sent an RSVP in, and for some reason, they can't uh, be here, uh, health reasons. Uh, I went, uh, Alex Bobenshi came today under duress, um, Alex has been suffering with Parkinson's for a long time now, and uh, he was very edgy that he couldn't come because uh, his medication not working to level. He's here. I would give him a hand too if you want mind. Okay, I'm going to 
show up later on, and, uh, but uh, at this moment, I'd like to um, have uh, Olivia Zazmorski, Don's uh, widow and best friend, come up and uh, give us an invitation, tell us a few lines about Donald, bringing Donald back into our memory in our room, and uh, maybe uh, direct a little uh, moment to reflect on these people that a lot of them would like to have been here, and a lot of them would like to have had here, uh, to reflect on that. And then um, after that, maybe I'll come back and talk for about two minutes, and then the girls will tell you how the raffle works. Okay? So, uh, Olivia, it's yours. Hi, everybody. My name is Olivia Zaworski. I know Don would prefer to be giving you this speech, but unfortunately, he is not with us. Uh, I would just like to take a few seconds to have a, a short invocation. So can we just bow our heads, please? Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be together and celebrate. We offer thanks for the committee who worked creatively and tirelessly to make this 60th reunion reality. May our time together be filled with renewed friendships, love, and joy, sharing hopes, dreams, ambitions, and perhaps even some sadness. Let us keep the 43 classmates and friends who are no longer with us in our hearts and minds. We thank you for their lives and the time we were so lucky to spend with them. Thank you for the food we have eaten and for the staff who prepared it. Make this special day fun and exciting. And, exciting. and at the conclusion of our great time, grant us a safe trip home so we'll be ready to enjoy each other's company another day. Amen. I'd just like to take a second and thank Helen Lesky for making these posters of our classmates who are no longer with us. If you have a moment, I've, I've seen a number of people looking at them and enjoying them. Please stop up and take a look at the posters. And let's just take a moment right now uh, to reflect on our friends who are no longer here. We've got some good times some fun, some joys. Thank you. Just a word about Dawn, uh, for those of you who may have lost track of everything. Uh, Dawn passed away in 2008. Uh, unfortunately, he had a heart condition and uh, it, it progressed. He had a um, condition known as heart failure and had several heart attacks and was not able to uh, maintain that himself after that. Well, our, during our marriage, we did quite a bit of traveling. We enjoyed many things together and he was quite a joy. I hope you found him that way. He, was, he had a wonderful personality and a great sense of humor. And uh, it was, I was married to him for 11 years, and it was 11 very happy years. So thank you for letting me share a little bit about him, and thank you for inviting me to be here today. Okay, uh, before I introduce uh, okay. the reunion committee, because they might want to say something about today or me, what you did here and didn't do, you can blame the committee or thank the committee for what got done. Helen Lesky, uh, wise, said uh, this has got to be first floor, no elevators and no stairs. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know whose idea it was, but we all agreed that it should be in the afternoon so that uh, us old-timers can drive while it's still light. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, and we had we had uh, some differing opinions about exactly whether we should have a music or no music, and that Nicky Lahutsky doesn't think anybody wants to dance anymore, so we didn't <laughs> we didn't bring, we have music for the one person who wants to defy that, and um, and the girls. Uh, the girls really pitched in making baskets. Uh, Shirley was our, uh, our secretary. Uh, Loretta was uh, making these lanyards that you were, most of you were wearing. Um, through duress, she was in a car accident a few months ago, rear-ended, and uh, she's been acupuncture and, and uh, cervical this and cervical that and MRIs. And she still pushed through on that, so we had to give her credit for that. Um, is anybody not? So, uh, Helen, you can sit there. I don't think you want to get up. Um, okay, well, I'm saying you, you don't have to sit there. No, I don't, you don't tell Helen. She's in the public. I can only person. I see you. Yes? I can only person. Okay. Thank you all for coming. Nothing else? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I have a question. Is anybody's birthday today? Anybody on May 24th? Okay, well, that's, that's one bottle of red for me. <laughs> okay, they say if there's 37 people in the room, um, that there's probably two people who have the same birthday. So by the time the afternoon is over, two people come up and they show me their driver's licenses with the same birthday on it, each get a bottle of red. This is one. Just if you find out who's got the same birthday as you and it happens to be, you got yourself a bottle of wine. Okay? You got, that means you got to talk to people. You got to see you can, somebody you know. Okay. And, okay. 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 Number three. The rest of the committee. I'm doing Oh, here we go. July the 3rd. May the 7th. March 23rd. August 23rd. Okay. Somebody send me the 3rd. They all have to go to AA meeting. They don't get this. All right. So now, the rest of the committee is uh, Nikki Lohusky. Nikki, you want to come say it? You want to say something to everybody? I want to say something. <laughs> Welcome to 19 to 60 years, and to 60 years. It's great to see all of you. I know you, I don't remember a lot of you. I have to look at your tags to see who you are. But I just want to let you know that this guy has done a hell of a job. Yes. <laughs>
and I thank God every day for that. Um, many of us are not here, but you're all in our prayers, the ones that aren't here. We work very hard on this committee. We work well together. We worked hard, and it's all, it, it, it all paid off. It's a blessing to have worked with the committee. Thank you. Sometimes we butted heads, but the girls always won. <laughs> Desserts are coming, so if you want to get your last sticks, you still got a chance. Uh, okay. Is there any? Is there anyone who has to leave early, uh, or anyone who desires to leave early? Okay, we're going to try for a, a photo indoors, up against that wall, sometime around 3:30. We want to make sure that Doug King is dead center in the middle, and uh, Helen right next to him in the, her, her chair. Um, okay, I have a raffle item. I want to know who has the most baseball hats. Is there anybody here who, whose husband has to wear a baseball hat, who walks around the house and has a baseball hat all the time, who doesn't have enough baseball hats? I want a wife who doesn't have enough baseball caps. Okay, that's my, that's my gift from myself. This is direct from China from the 2002 Olympics, given to me by my next door neighbor who flew home to her parents who lived very close to that little uh, bird's nest thing they had, and she brought me back this hat. It's the right size, but I don't dare wear it in my neighborhood. Nobody wants it. Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, who's going to say how the, the raffle goes? Which girl's going to volunteer? Okay, Shirley, you want to come up? Want to come, up with, come on, Shirley. Don't be afraid of this microphone. Just tell them how it works. Tell them how it works. Where's your basket? Where's the numbers? How could you tell them how it works when you don't know where the basket is? No, no, hey, no, that's good. The, the, with the Where's my ticket? Where's my ticket? Okay, cool. That's it. That's it. Oh, cool. Cool. There you go. There you go. Why don't you pull your own winner? Let's do it. Let's do it. The raffle ticket. Everybody here have a red raffle ticket. Is there someone who doesn't have one of these? Where, where is that? Who didn't get one? Schubert didn't get one?
Sorry guys, got away. <laughs> okay, I need my uh, our St. Mary back for a minute. Change that in school. We won't talk anymore. So okay. They're all in order. Thanks. So I remembered today to do everything except bring my eyeglasses. <laughs> but I think the RSVPs are pretty good over here. Um, I want to tell you that uh, George Cisco, thanks. Um, George Cisco at uh, 1230 today was in Old Bridge um, getting his hip checked out. He's in a wheelchair. He and his, uh, was, he's anxious to be here. He had two or three times we talked on the phone. And uh, he's uh, going to see a, a he has, has seen a doctor today. And if he can get here today, he'll show up. And if he can't, his apologies for not showing up. Um, if I, so many people know and so many people don't know, I'm, uh, I'm taking radiotherapy for cancer on my vocal cord because I smoked those schools and those pole malls when I was young. So I had uh, radiation last week, Monday, Tuesday, they gave me a day off today. I go back tomorrow, etc. Okay, uh, so I'm talking to George and, and he says, how are you doing? So I'm telling him what's going on with me. He says, and it's, it's, I'm asking, uh, at, in Basque Bridge, uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering. And so uh, George says, uh, I know where that is. I've gone there for one of my cancers. Oh, well, but this is a cancer family now, right? We're, he says, who's your doctor? I said, Dr. Boyle. He says, my wife is going to love you. Dr. Boyle did both of her cancer surgeries. And so George has been rife. Uh, I think uh, he's on his third and she's on her, on her second. And if George shows up uh, today, I hope for the miracle that he can come in the room, but he wanted so much to be with everybody here. Uh, I give you the apologies for uh, Christina Sachinsky, who stepped on a cat litter box in her laundry room and couldn't right herself before she broke an arm and damaged her shoulder. She needs, she's got a chip on her shoulder that may need surgery, the doctor is iffy about it, but he said he can't drive, he can't take this trip, I got to see you next week, I guess he's got a condo to pay for him. And, and, um, and uh, Charlie Varga would have liked to have made it, but uh, Charlie uh, backed out at the last minute, he's kind of shy about um, his station in life nowadays, and uh, so he says pass his regards on. Okay. Uh, Ruth Ann Austin, if anybody remembers her, uh, Ruth Ann Austin is not well. She sent a note and said, uh, due to health problems, I'm not coming. And um, there are others, uh, Corbin Leeming uh, also can't travel. I think his wife is ill. So uh, today is really, uh, uh, Nikki says, Nikki said, if this is a celebration, Olivia said it, this is a celebration. We're on the right side of the grass. Whatever condition we're in, we're laughing, we're clapping, we're uh, having a good time. And uh, thank you all for coming and, and giving me uh, uh, the personal reward of uh, not uh, being able to quite be with the people who didn't come or wouldn't come and could have. Uh, I just, some people from high school just have an idea that the reunion is a different way than this one is. They missed it. Okay? All right, so uh, I'm done here unless somebody says they, I've forgotten something. If, by the way, if you're just on either the memorial board, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. Okay, we'll correct, we'll correct that if you just have to ask. And, uh, uh, and uh, so uh, we're going to have another raffle probably in a half an hour, and uh, then we're going to have a... Uh, uh, pictures around 3 and then about 3.15 we'll have another raffle and uh, then closing whatever <laughs> schools out. <laughs> the, the hired help tells me that the desserts are out already and they'll be out for a while so if you're hungry for your dessert go get it. They just told me. More coffee, more coffee. <laughs> Carol Woodhull.
I got two bottles of ripple. Uh, for a moment, uh, Rose Parker, we're really just going to go up to the microphone and she wants to say a few words. She has something important to say. Uh, if there's anybody else who wants the microphone and wants to have it, and then uh, when she's done, uh, Gladys, you're next. because we had such a great preparation in Goddard and Hawk. So that's what I want to say. <laughs> and I just want to say, I want to thank Loretta for, I guess, forcing me to come. <laughs> to me, oh, why don't you go, why don't you go? I said, I don't want to go. <laughs> and she said, come on. So I came and I brought my girlfriend and I am very happy that I came. And the second thing I want to say is I am so blessed that I saw Mr. King today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my brother spends every birthday with Mr. King and whatever they do, my brother comes up from Virginia. so. Today has been a very, very special day for me. Thank you. Let's see. Um, besides uh, thanking our teachers and thanking the people who took care of us today, um, I want to acknowledge uh, two things. First of all, we have uh, Alice Baines made a trip here from Seattle. I think it's Seattle. Uh, Joan Dunhoff Dennison came here from Southern California. I think we have three people here uh, from Florida. Several from the Carolinas. Um, Oddly enough, we don't have anybody from North Jersey above Linden or New York, State, or New York City. Everybody who left Carteret went south and west. Okay. New York. Virginia. Virginia. Did you find out who's got your birthday yet? Did you find out anybody got your birthday yet? No, but I can have it twice. No, I, love, I, love, I, should, I should put you up here first. Okay, uh, I want to thank, uh, I believe we have 10 guests, people who dare come out um, and spend the day with hardly anybody you knew, all, all much older than you, who are smarter than you and know everything. And, uh, and so uh, some of the people uh, made a car ride, I heard 16 hours in the car. Um, Guy's got navigation and she wears lipstick. <laughs> um, people who flew together, uh, people who came um, out of love, out of support. I guess there are people who probably wouldn't have come by themselves unless they could have come with a loved one. So if you're a guest, I want to thank you. And thank we welcome you in the beginning and we welcome you again. Thank you very much for coming and being here. Okay. So, so how, how about one of those big claps? Anybody else wanted to get up here and hand? Have the guest stand. 
Guess stand up. Well, you're, if, if you're from Carteret, I can't tell you to stand up because you won't. So <laughs> if the guest would like to stand up and, and introduce themselves with who they are coming with, I'd like that. So stand up, Amy. <laughs>
we have a lawyer, a businessman, and an actress. Oh. So, so we have been very blessed. And uh, a lot of people said they recognized me by my red hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to thank my mother and Miss Cleo. <laughs> There is a question I ask people who've been married a long time and who are proud of it. Um, this is for Martin to answer. Was it love at first sight? It was funny. I looked twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of times I ask that question, the guy looks at his wife and says, what should I say? <laughs> or she'll say, it was for him, but not for me. Okay, anybody else? Anybody else? Like, is, is it just like a, a meeting, you know, my name is Larry and I haven't had a cigarette for 25 years. Uh, I haven't had a glass of wine yet today, this is the way I always act. Okay, so um, we have one more raffle, we'll bother you one more time to pay attention and have a good time. Is there anybody you haven't talked to? Has anybody felt they haven't, no one paid attention to them here? Would you give them a hug or a kiss or something else? My job's fine. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll let you know in the next uh, next week, okay? And if you think of something you want to say, meanwhile, well, it's here. Okay, we are giving away our final basket. If there's somebody in the ladies' room, they do they lose. Okay, are we ready to look at our red raffle tickets? Alright, I'm going to bring a basket out. We've also included a nice bottle of Asti Spumante and a nice ham. So everything that you might want to eat for breakfast is in there. So good luck to whomever the winner might be. <laughs> Champagne for breakfast. Good luck to whomever is the winner. Oh my God, Mr. King. Thank <laughs> you. 